Hi grade tens, welcome to another video where we will be continuing with one point perspective. We are doing the left side of page 130. So first things first, I'm going to get my vanishing point. Project from the SP and then get your vanishing point on the horizon line where you will label it VP. Once that is done, now you're going to copy this front view and move it here so that it can align properly with your top view. And all this is done in construction lines. So firstly, I'm going to copy the the full house and then the one on the side as well you can see that it has the same height as the doors and the windows and then I'm gonna just bring down my point So those are now my points and I have just copied this view to here. Now I'm going to outline these points for the wall because they are on the picture plane. So I'm going to fully outline them. And then this one, because it's not on the picture plane, it cannot be outlined here immediately. It will be somewhere along the lines that are going to the vanishing point. I'm now going to take my two points to the vanishing point so that I can be able to find the side of my building. And then I'm going to get my two points for the roof so that now I can be able to get the roof. Remember, these are the ones that we are given, but the roof line, as you can see, which is the highest point, is not on the picture plane. So meaning we have to take it first to the stationary point. So as you can see, this is how big the side of the wall is, but then now let us get the roof so that we can finish off. So these two points for the roof, we take them to the vanishing point. The, so where they intersect with the lines that we brought down, we are now going to have points. So let me just bring down this one. It's 
So this is our first line for the roof. Trace it and then you'll see that we'll have a point there and then the second one, the other side of the roof, you see that we have a point there. So I'm going to join those points. Then join them with the wall. So now that I have that little outline, I can be able to see that I can't outline this tooth before I get this one first because it will be somewhere here and I need to be able to find the position of that. So what we are going to do, we are going to now find where this is and we need to bring down these two points first. So you see where this point now is intersecting with this line. That is the beginning of our side. Then we're just going to outline it or extend, sorry, we're just going to extend it. And then same thing with the second one. Stationary point, then bring it down so that we get the size. Then you can see that it's going to, to be here. Then you can simply outline the bottom part of the side of the wall. Now we need to get the height. So for the height, I'm going to zoom in so that you can see exactly where I'm getting my point. So you see that little piece that we drew in the beginning. We have a point here and a point here. So those two points are the ones that are going to help us get the height of our wall. So we are going to project them to the vanishing point first. And then we are going to bring down this last corner here to the stationary point, then down. Just going to project these two points. Remember we have our little house that is in construction here. So these two, I've already projected one and two. Now I need one and two, but this one is already there. So now I just need to take this one here. So now I know exactly where my height is, which is here, the height of my wall. And now I can be able to draw a straight line like that. Outline here. And outline here. Now let us get the roof where it is. So we're going to now project this part here to the vanishing point.
and you can see that it's intersecting with this line that shows the highest point of the roof here. So just like that we will join the three and then the remaining is just for us to now join these. Then just like that, we will close off the wall, as you can see. So that is our house in perspective. Now I'm just going to outline the windows and make them 3D. And that is our free, I mean our perspective drawing. I hope this video helped and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.